Hi there, it's Jeff from Hot Tub Owner HQ, and today we're going to explore the wide world of hot tub leaks. How to know if you've got one, how to fix it if you do, and how do you know, do, do hot tubs just lose water naturally from evaporation and that not from a leak? We're going to get into all of that and more right here, right now. So let's do it. So first of all, you need to understand that hot tubs will lose water naturally due to evaporation. You can expect to lose up to an inch a week, maybe even more if you set yours to 104 and you frequently have the jets on and the, and the lid off. Those things can all kind of speed up the evaporation process. I, I set mine to 98, so I don't really see that much of a loss. I might see a couple inches a month. But you'll know if you're if you have a leak because you'll be seeing a much faster drop in the water level. So kind of like I like to kind of eyeball it uh, where the water level is in relation to the pillows. And if I notice a large drop, especially over a quick period of time, that tells me I've got a leak as opposed to just natural evaporation. You will also will see water kind of pooling on the floor around the base of the hot tub. That's another clue that you've got a leak somewhere in there that you need to get addressed. Now, unfortunately, there are many, many different places in a hot tub where you could have a leak. We're going to cover some of the most common ones and how to fix them. But to do that, I'm going to need to move the camera and take the panel off the side over there so you can kind of get a bird's eye view of what I'm looking at. So let's do that now. Okay. So now we're down over here. I'm going to remove this side panel so you can get a better look at the underneath area of my hot tub. So the first thing I have to do is remove the side panel over here. The side panel simply has these little thumb screws that kind of hold this side panel in place. In theory, you don't need any pliers or anything. You just kind of like turn them counterclockwise to remove them. This one's a little tighter than the bottom one was and I'm missing my middle one. But that just kind of slides away like that. We're going to set it out of the way for now. We don't really need it. Then we're going to remove this panel here. Yours could be different than mine, but I'm just going to kind of lift up and then pull the bottom towards me. And then I'm going to be able to just remove this piece altogether and set it aside. Okay, I think you can see everything now. So first of all, these are called gate valves. And right now they're open, which allows water to flow from the hot tub into the pump and then up into the heater as well, which this thing, this silver tube right here is the heater tube. And then it flows out again on the other side. There's a gate valve located on either side of this. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do if we suspect there's a leak somewhere in here is close this off. The alternative would be to simply drain your hot tub, but we don't wanna do that unless we absolutely have to. So we're gonna close those valves off. That will prevent the flow of water through here. Of course, you wanna flip the breaker on your hot tub. You don't want the power on while you're doing this either. So we've got the gate valves closed on either side of this heater tube. So right here, this is called a union fitting. There are two little couplings that are screwed together and then together they thread onto this piece. This is, again, this is the heater tube here. There's a rubber gasket inside of here, and that rubber gasket can sometimes get broken or just worn out from the, all the hot water that's flowing through here constantly. So those rubber gaskets, which are just a couple of bucks each to replace, are a very common place to leak. If that rubber gasket breaks, guess what? It's gonna start leaking right here at this fitting, or maybe this one over here, or both. If you do end up having to replace the rubber gasket inside of here, it's a good idea to do both sides at the same time because chances are they're the same age. To open these kind of valves here, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver. You unscrew right there. There's another one on the other side as well. Sometimes these are a little hard to get to. And then you just turn this either clock clockwise to tighten it or counterclockwise to loosen it. Um, and then it's very, very easy to do that. And of course, it's worth pointing out that if you do have a leak on this union fitting or that one, you're going to see water right here as well as down below here. If you don't see any water in those places, that's not where the leak is. Other places that are kind of common to see leaks are with these PVC pipes. Some of these are going to be glued in place. In other words, this piece is glued into here most likely. It's not screwed in. So let's say if this piece here had a crack in it, the best thing to do would be to cut out the cracked section with a hacksaw, 
hack it off on either end of that, put a new piece in place, and then you can use some couplings to kind of join it all together and tighten it down. If the leak is hard to get to, say for instance back here, and the, and the crack is very small, you can also use some waterproof epoxy putty. JB Weld makes some excellent epoxy putties, and they even have one that's kind of marine grade that's not only waterproof, but it's designed to be applied underwater. So it's excellent for hot tubs. However, I do want to caution you that replacing a cracked piece of PVC pipe is always going to be a longer lasting fix than patching it with epoxy putty. So you only want to do that if you really can't get to the cracked pipe easily without major headache and hassle. So unfortunately, sometimes the leaks are going to be behind this layer of foam. It might be a jet that's loose and leaking at, at where the jet's located. It could be the jet on the far side of the hot tub. My hot tub has fences on this backside and that backside. I can't move this thing to get to the panels on those sides. So what do you do in those cases? Or in some cases, it might be a jet that's encased in this spray on foam that you'd have to otherwise dig out. Um, and then of course, fill back in again once you've fixed the leak. So in those cases, the first thing I wanna try before doing something major is use a product like this. This is Fix-A-Leak. It's by a company called Marleg Industries. And I've used this product myself many times to fix small leaks. It works really well if the leak is small. It doesn't work super well if you're dealing with something like a cracked PVC pipe. But if you've just got a tiny little leak somewhere, uh, this stuff is going to work great. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. But first, I want to show you how big of a crack something like that is going to fix, because it doesn't fix everything. It's designed to fix cracks that are one eighth of an inch long or in diameter, I should say. So you see here, that's a quarter, a half an inch. That's a quarter inch. And then half of a quarter inch is an eighth of an inch. So that is the largest size of leak that that stuff can fix. Now, of course, if we're talking about a, a jet that's encased in foam, you may not be able to see exactly how big the leak is. So in that case, you're just going to want to try it and see what it does. In some cases, I've had to use it twice before the leak was completely fixed, but it does work really well on really small leaks like that, especially ones that are hard to get to. Let me show you exactly how to use it right now. Okay, so for the fix a leak to work, we now need to turn the power back on. If you did close your gate valves that we showed you earlier in the video, make sure those are open again. Turn the power back on. The next thing we're going to do is take the filters out of our hot tub. We don't want those in there while we're pouring the fix a leak in. Let's do that now. My filters, as you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, are way up here. Not exactly easy to get to. Hope I don't fall in. They just turn counterclockwise to remove. I've got two of them. I'm just gonna kind of set them here floating. All right, so there's my filters and I didn't fall in. The next thing I'm gonna do is turn all the jets on. I want the jets on, and more importantly, I want the suction on here where the filters normally sit. It's gonna pull that water down into the system. That's what I want, and I wanna pour the fix -a leak in right here. I'm gonna start by pouring in probably about, this is a 32 ounce bottle, so I'm gonna start by probably pouring in about a fourth of this bottle, depending upon the size of the leak. If the leak seems huge, you, again, you probably don't wanna use this if it's a huge leak. But um, if it's bigger than normal, you might want to use more than that. But again, you can also apply this more than once. So I'm going to pour it directly in, again, with the jets running. I'm going to do about a, uh, four ounces, or I mean, sorry, a fourth of this bottle to start with. Again, I'm going to leave these filters out the entire time. After I've done that, I'm just going to let the hot tub sit for 24 hours. I'm going to mark maybe with a, a, like a dry erase marker or something, I'm going to mark the water level so I can know if the water level continues to go down from where it is right now. If it's not down, great. Put the filters back in, you're good to go. You don't need to drain the water before you use it again. If I do notice that the water level is a little lower, but it doesn't seem to be leaking as fast as it was, I'm just going to repeat the whole thing. I'm going to pour in another quarter of a bottle at this point, half of the bottle, and I'm going to let it go another 24 hours and see how it goes. 
Again, if the water level stays steady, that means it's working. I put the filters back in and problem solved. If it's still continuing to leak, that means the size of the crack is going to be too big for the Marlig fix a leak to work. In that case, unfortunately, your best option is to tear out some of the foam and really see if you can dig in and figure out where the leak is happening. The other kind of leak that is very uncommon, I would say, in most cases, are going to be leaks that are stemming from a crack in the acrylic shell. Cracks in the acrylic shell most often happen when the hot tub is not level, and stress fractures happen when too much weight is pushed down on one side compared to the other. That can cause stress fractures. So if your hot tub isn't level, you owe it to yourself to try and get it level, at least within a half an inch max from one side to the other. I do have some articles that talk about how to level your hot tub. I haven't done a video on it because I don't have a need to level mine, and it's kind of hard to show that when you're you're not doing it yourself. But the article I'll link to, it's on my website, I'll link to it down below in the description. But if yours isn't level, you should definitely work to get yours as level as possible. But stress fractures can happen in the shell, and when that happens, the best way to fix it is going to be to use a drill bit that's just slightly larger than the crack itself, drill a hole on either end of the crack. That will stop it from spreading and getting bigger. Then you're going to fill in that crack and those holes with an acrylic putty, basically. Um, and you can add acrylic paint to that acrylic putty uh, that matches the color of your hot tub shell. Get it in there. Get it as smooth as possible with your hand. Then once it's dry, you can sand it smooth and then you can buff it. And when you're done, if you've matched the color correctly, you probably aren't even going to be able to tell that anything was ever even there to begin with. But... That's all I have to say on cracks in the shell. That's one of the least common places for a hot tub to leak. And again, most likely, if that's what's happening, your hot tub isn't level and you need to get it level because more stress fractures could appear later. Troubleshooting hot tub leaks is not a fun job. It can sometimes be a complete mystery and you'll go down several different paths before you find the right one. Again, this Marlig fix -a leak product, it works really, really well on leaks that are no larger than one eighth of an inch in diameter. I've used it many times and I would say probably four out of five times I've had it work perfectly where I didn't need to do anything else. When the leak is larger, you're going to really have to ideally replace the, either the worn rubber gasket or the cracked PVC pipe. If you can't do that, then JB Water Weld, which is a waterproof epoxy putty, works great if where you're trying to fix isn't visible. In other words, if it's behind the panel here, that's going to work just fine. It's not going to last quite as long as if you replaced the defective part, but it can still last for years and years and years. So anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It sends a great signal to YouTube. Then smash that subscribe button and the bell notification button too but we'll see you in the next video.